Hey folks, I got this question in regards to replacing brake pads. When should I replace my brake pads? And uh, today I'm going to talk briefly about when to replace the Shimano brake pads and how to replace them and a few other things that you can do or you should do at that time. Most probably what you're going to need is uh, these are tire levers. You're going to need a needle nose pliers and you might need some hex keys so keep those handy. Good news is that the previous generation uh, brakes and the current generation brakes from Shimano use the same pads. So G G01S, this is the one that uh, is mentioned on the Dior. Here it says SLX. And then you have F01A, this is XDR, XT, SLX. Dior is not mentioned, but it works just fine on it. So uh, any one of these uh, brake pads, again, works with any one of the current or previous generation Shimano brakes. Going by the book, Shimano says if noise occurs during brake operation, the pads might have worn down. Well, I strongly recommend not waiting until then because it might be a bit too late. The original pad is about 2 millimeters thick. When it gets down to a 0.5 millimeter thickness, it's time to replace the pads. So I would take that as a good advice and not necessarily what they say, waiting for the noise to occur. Measuring these pads, this is the fin one, resin, it's 4 millimeters thick. Looking at the non thin one, the resin as well, it's four millimeters as well. So when it comes down to 2.5 millimeters thickness, you know that the uh, actual pad is worn out and it's, uh, it needs to be replaced. Checking the pads right on the bike, it's usually fairly easy. You just look through the top here and this is, you see, a Dior 615 uh, with no, without fins and you can see clearly how much uh, brake pad is left. Trying to do the same here where I have the fin pads doesn't really work mostly because you can't really see. You get a glimpse of what's in there but not enough. But most of the time in this situation I would suggest just taking down the brake pads and uh, checking them out. Removing the pads if you have an XT or an SLX with this little bolt just uh, remove this uh, safety clip that's installed here on the back and then use a three millimeter Allen Allen key just to remove your bolt. As soon as you do that, you can pull out the brake pads from the top. Here we go. If you have something like a Dior, you see here, or an, S or an older SLX, all I have to do is uh, straight straighten the, the end of this uh, clip uh, enough so you can push it out, and then same thing, just remove the uh, the pads from the top. Every new set of uh, brake pads comes with one of these uh, new clips, whether you need it or not. Uh, reinstalling is fairly simple. Push it in, grab the end of it, and just bend it enough so it keeps it in place. With the brake pads out, you can take a look and see the pistons. They're white, the white ones in my case. And uh, if you have any leak or anything like that around the piston or in the piston, this would be the good time to spot it. Since I wanted to clean up the uh, caliper as well, I have removed the wheel. And what I'm going to use is just uh, rubbing alcohol, trying to get rid of uh, all this brake dust that's in there. So rubbing alcohol and paper towel. With the caliper cleaned up, this is the time to use the tire lever just to push your pistons back. Now as you do this, it's going to make room for the thicker pads, so also going to push some of that uh, uh, fluid back into your lever. So here is. One last thing that I want to do before I install the new pads is display a bit of a detective and take a look at the old pads that I have removed from here. And of course, what you want, you want even uh, wear on both sides. I just found out that my uh, caliper is kind of like that onto the disc. That's why I have uneven wear on my brake uh, pads over here. So this is the perfect timing to adjust that. With the wheel installed, you want to center the caliper to the disc. And to do so, you see this line here that uh, shows you pretty much the, the center of the caliper. You want to make sure you center that one with the disc so it has to be right in the middle of the disc obviously to do so you use your five millimeter allen key 
With caliper ready to go, if you look at the uh, fin pads, you can see a right and a left designation here. Obviously, left is my side, right is the drive side. And you're going to install this little spring that also has a left and right, just like that around your pads and they are ready to go in. When reinstalling your little bolt, make sure you put a little of grease on the thread over there. Screw it in all the way and don't forget your little safety clip. One last thing that I would do, take your paper towel, get some alcohol on it and just clean up your disc just in case you touched it with your hand and whatnot. And that's pretty much it folks. Hope you found this useful. Uh, if you have any comments, let me know in the section below. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. And I will see you on the trails. Cheers!